Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Steam Forward podcast. As always, I'm your host, Savannah, and today our guest is no stranger to our podcast, and it's our co-host, our Gen 2050 alumni, Kaylee Alcindor. So please help me welcome Kaylee. Hello, hello. Hey, welcome back. I know you're here in between some things with school. So what do you have to go back to school to do? So recently I became the competition cheer team manager. Yes, we are. And so I've just been around helping mm-hmm. like with videotaping the routines mm-hmm. and getting the materials, keeping making sure everything's like all the materials I have inventory, all that stuff. Just to That's help. awesome. And so do you get community service doing that? I'm going to ask soon right. because I know a lot of other managers for teams have community service, but I haven't yet to ask my coach. Yeah, because I remember when I was in high school, uh, if you did anything to help the sports team, you got community service. Yes. Like I know a lot of people did like um, like water mm-hmm. for like the basketball team, mm-hmm. like football team. So yeah, make sure you get them hours. I'm hoping I'm going to ask soon and hope yeah. I get a yes. So how is so? We are the week after Thanksgiving. How was your Thanksgiving? My Thanksgiving was really good. I spent it with my mom. Mm-hmm. And her? I, no. <laughs> um, I spent it, we just ate together. I cooked. Mm-hmm. I made, for my first what time cooking, make? I made some macaroni. Yeah. I made some turkey. Mm-hmm. I made some candy yams. Yes. My yeah. mom made collard greens. Yes. We had little donations of corn souffle for my sister. It was a good Thanksgiving. We had enough. And then it was just us two. We watched some movies. It was good. That's nice. Uh, my unpopular opinion about Thanksgiving that everybody almost falls out their chair is I do not like turkey. Me neither. I do. I, I don't think turkey is the most overrated Thanksgiving meal food alive. I don't even like turkey breast or like turkey in a sandwich. I, oh, no, I cannot can't. stand turkey. I can. Re- I like turkey in sandwiches. Not often. Yeah, right. It's not my first choice. Mm-hmm. But Thanksgiving turkey. It's just not, and I've seen like, oh, the seasoning has to be. It has a vibe. All no. the, mm-hmm. <laughs> it's the texture, I think. It is. Right? It's like, and everybody says like, this is the most non-dry turkey. Every turkey I've tasted tastes dry to me. And it, I've tasted some good turkey, good flavor, everything. It's just dry. It's just a dry meat. I don't yeah, know. the only way I can bear it is by like s- smothering it in gravy. In gravy. Mm-hmm. That's it. Yeah. And eating it with mashed potatoes. Yep. The only way I can get turkey down <laughs> It's 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 just it's just not it's not it's a it, vibe. No, no, I don't like it. And I agree all. with you. Thank you, somebody who understands me. I said that the other weekend. I thought I was gonna be like, no, 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 no. I agree. Ham is where it's at. I like. I'm on more ham. Yeah, ham too. Yeah, I agree. Well, the holidays are coming up. So after Thanksgiving, we have wonderful Christmas. Are you doing anything fun? I'm not. Sh- I'm gonna try. Me and my fa- friends have been planning some stuff. We're probably gonna go drive through some, you know, the light up neighborhoods and see just and get hot chocolate and just do fun stuff like that. But you it's gonna be going. You gotta go to um, I think it's Key Biscayne that has all the really big, beautiful houses. Yeah, we're gonna drive. We want to just make a you know make a time out of it. Go mm-hmm. get some food, sit in the car, drive around, have yes. a nice night. It's gonna be super fun. Yeah. So. Fun. So, Kaylee, you're in your senior year. And so senior year, um, I don't know about for you, but for me, it wasn't too stressful. I feel like my 11th grade year was like the the uh, get your testing done, mm-hmm. figure out your college, all this prep. And so senior year is just solidifying and figuring everything out. So what have been some of your challenges in your senior year? My senior year, my challenges have been really I don't know how to explain it. It hasn't been stressful right. per se. It's been really just college applications. Obviously, that's every senior universal college applications coming up. Right. And it's just really the filling out mm-hmm. the essay yeah. where it's, oh, tell everything, but not too much. Don't make it sound like a pity story. but <laughs> yeah. then feel sorry for you. The essay is always going to take me out. But other than that, recommendation letters, it's easy. Brag sheets. Easy. I don't know how to. It's the. Courses also, you know, my school, we have midterms coming up, yeah. and you can exempt through midterms. Mm. And it's the period where you have the grade, a good grade, but not good enough for you to exempt, and then you start stressing Oh, because it's just, yeah, it's the middle of the year, but... So in order to a, in order to exempt, what's the requirement? An A for the semester. In attendance, no? No, no attendance. It's oh. just an A for the semester, so... Let's say for a class I have, I got an A first quarter, second mm-hmm. quarter, I'm not at a, um, I got a 90 straight, I need another 90, and I'm not there yet. And it's the what if 
Oh, so you have to make an A. That's it. To yeah, just an A. It. Oh, our, our exemption process when I was a senior was um, we couldn't exempt our first um, semester, but we our first the first two quarters. Right. But we could exempt three and four. But what came with that is you had to have like um, somewhat of, of a beat, but you could only miss five classes. When you have senior itis, <laughs> so <laughs> when you I'm have senior sorry. itis and and you know you're planning all these things like senior skip day and all the and then it's like five days, that's it in like one semester. Oh, it was tough. I know. I I understand that because when I'm doing it, it's. I got an A first quarter. Yeah. First quarter was okay. These are six A's, one B. I'm proud. Mm-hmm. Second quarter comes around, and I'm like, you're just over it. And it's it's yeah. like it's like I don't want to have to be do my have to do my calculus midterm because I know yeah. what's coming for me. Yeah, and it's just and the senior itis is something. It's so they good. people tell you about it, and you're like, it's not real. Yeah. Please. It's the realest thing I've ever felt in like the longest time because also for me and maybe you're the same way because you're very good with your academics is that when I was a senior, I only needed like two or three classes to be done. And so after, so it was so annoying because you have to take economics. Is that still a requirement? Yes, and government senior. and economics. And economics, right. So I already took my government, but my senior year, they put me in economics, but they did it the second semester and I was just like though and obviously you need uh English four and so those were the only two classes I needed and I was like just to be here all day it's just like I stress on my life it's 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 like for example I have to do my school you're not allowed to do so you have to have the seven classes every single year until you graduate Mm -hmm. and so it's okay you know some courses they're different you get different teachers it's just the oh my gosh especially just sitting in class and you know it's like five months left people are like no six months i say no counting breaks i have a month off that's five months of school that are what is five months in a span of four <laughs> years like i please yeah i get it so besides the challenges and like just trying to finish the year what are some fun things that you've done now that you're a senior okay um well i drive i got my license last year and my mom was really strict with nobody in the car until you pass a year so now senior year i can have my friends in the car we can go you know that after school starbucks yeah it's lovely i enjoy it and then always just senior skip day was good yeah it's it's relaxing your senior skip day was early we have i think we get one a quarter what oh one a quarter okay so we planned one last year Mm -hmm. we're probably not gonna end up planning one this quarter because just break is coming up and it's over. Yeah, so it it's not, makes no sense. But mm-hmm. um, just senior year in general, just being able to say I'm a senior and yeah. I'm almost there, mm-hmm. making senior crowns and being yeah. at the pep rallies and yeah. just that feeling of, okay, I did I'm everything. Yeah. I'm good. It's so fun. Um, in your school, I don't know about for you, but is there like anything specific that like you wait for to be a senior? Like our really big thing was that like, on Spirit Week, on Friday, it would be um, everybody had to wear like their colors for for their grades, but the seniors get to dress in like togas. And so we got to make like our own togas and stuff. And so I remember uh, I had like this sparkly gold and black one, but is there anything fun that the seniors get to do that nobody else can? I wish we got to do togas. We did crowns. I feel like senior crowns is universal. Yeah. And um, I'm a school senior. There's nothing really. Oh, actually, at the end of the year, mm-hmm. we do the senior banner. Yeah. And so they get one person at the end of every day when it's a month to um, graduation. Everybody comes in. Everybody gathers and you X out with oh, gold spray. Awesome. And I'm excited. Yeah. To count down the day. Yeah. It's just there's that. It's I don't know. Senior breakfast. All the grad bash is coming. Yeah. Yes. Grab bash is coming up mm-hmm. next year. Prom is really fun too. Prom, I'm excited for prom too. Mm-hmm. It's, I don't know. If you hear everything from the seniors before, and you never really know. It's just like the moment, like homecoming, my last homecoming. It was like, oh my gosh. You're like, I don't want this night to end. This is my last one. I know, yeah. and it's like you do stuff. You go to parties. I don't. I'm not a party person. Yeah. But after I went to the homecoming after party, and I was right. proud because yeah. it's my senior year. You know. 
I got to get out there a little the bit last more. raw, <laughs> if you will. <laughs> so good. That's awesome. So, Kaylee, some really exciting news is that we've been applying to colleges and you got into LSU. I did. I'm so that was my FSU, FSU and Clemson have been mm-hmm. my top three for the past year. Right. And LSU has a good farm, a really good pharmacy program. Right. And they're a research school. So I said, you know, I'm going to put in early because yeah. they don't close till next year, I think. For like, acceptance? Yeah. To, oh, wow. uh, to submit your application because they're rolling. Mm. And so as soon, earlier you submit your application, the earlier you're going to get back an answer. So it's like three weeks for me. Mm-hmm. And... I just every day checking the portal. Every day checking the portal. Every day checking the portal. <laughs> yes. And the one day I didn't check my portal, I opened my email and it was like, Your application portal has been updated. And I was like I freaking out. Yeah. I literally almost passed out. And I was just I opened it and a yeah. confetti and I was like Yay. I didn't even I just I called my family, we had mm-hmm. crying, we had mm-hmm. neck screaming. And it's just it's so good. I, I You just feel accomplished. It's just, and yeah. they the senioritis gets worse once you get accepted to college. Yeah, because you're like, oh, you're starting looking at it. You're like, finally, I'll get to go here. I'll get to do not, anything. Not even. It's like, oh, I got into college. Yeah, I'm like, good. I'm <laughs> doing out everything here to get into college. But, but the I got last into step, step is that diploma has to be sent. I know. <laughs> <laughs> and so have we heard back from Clemson? We have not. Clemson and FSU are in the next month. Okay. So we shall see what they say, but right. I'm, I'm – the, re- the relief is mm-hmm. there for just being accepted into college. And so why do you want to study pharmacy? Because I have family, a lot of family, mm-hmm. who I know they have, like, allergies to medication. Oh. Like, allergies to ibuprofen. Mm-hmm. And, I, right? The most basic. Yeah. Yeah. And so also just, you know, you can build uh, immunity. Right. And I want to study that. I want to see, there's a lot of stuff that goes on in body wise. Right. And I went through mm. cardiology. I went through all the surgeries and all the, right. and I was just, I don't see myself there. I cannot see myself there. Especially, I feel like there's a lack of interaction and I love to interact with people. Right. And so I feel like it'd be good. I feel like it would fit me mm-hmm. in the medical sense still without the blood and the, but also in like a social setting, yeah. I feel like I enjoy it. I feel like you'd enjoy it. Well, I'm believing that you're going to be accepted into FSU and Clemson because you're bright and you're amazing. You have all the extracurriculars. And I'm just saying that because, you know, I love you. So I'm just like, (laughs) you're going to be accepted. And so we like to end the podcast with a word of the day. And Kaylee, do you have a word for today? Um, My word of the day is. Oh, you know what? My word of the day is authentic. And why is that? Because this morning in class, um, since I go to a Catholic school, we have a Christian commitment. And we learned that the word of the day for the word of the year for Marion Webster is authentic. So that's my word of the day. Authentic. And how can people be authentic? Sounds really. Be yourself. Just be yourself. Just just learn to not care. Yeah. Care, conform about so much of what you see outside. Like no preferable vision. Just look straight ahead and you'll be fine. Yeah. I love that. So be authentic. So, Kaylee, thank you so much for joining us. It's always a pleasure when I get to see you because I feel like I don't get to see you as much anymore. I know. So thank you so much for just taking time out of your day to come here in your busy senior life. Thank you so much. I love the podcast. So I'm happy here. to be here. <laughs> yes. And as always, there are two sponsors that we love to thank, and that's the Children's Trust and Trinity Church. And don't forget, there are three ways in which you can watch or listen to this podcast. If you like to watch, follow us on YouTube. If you like to listen, Follow us on Apple or Spotify. Remember, this is the Steam Forward Podcast. See you next week. Steam Forward.